Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking today's Red D Rose report. Hope everybody had a great and safe holiday last few days. We're over it. Now we can start saving for next year. Hey, Mick Foley played Santa at the uh, Greater New York Red Cross Winter Wonderland Party at the uh, Hard Rock Cafe this past weekend. Uh, the event was for families with young children who recently lost their homes to fires. Uh, wrestling legend, uh, beautiful Bobby Eaton, he's been hospitalized over the past weekend due to uh, complications from diabetes. Uh, Eaton has really had bad sores on his leg and is on antibiotics. Uh, a friend of mine, he's got, he used to come in the video store, he got diabetes and man, he has this big sore, skins, it uh, the, the dries the legs, you know, skin out on the legs and they crack open and man, it's just horrible. You gotta watch that or you lose a leg in no time. And there's been a lot of talks of rumblings of uh, more than one source about Jojo uh, Offerman being on thin ice. I don't know why, but anyway, the fact is that some, she's been somewhat ignored the past, you know, last half of the Total Divas. And WWE leaving her off a recent TV taping is a bad sign for her future. Jojo's been in attendance, though, for uh, recent NXT tapings, but not being used. Uh, regarding Davey Richards and uh, Eddie Edwards on their recent tryout with the WWE Performance Center down in Orlando, apparently the tryout wasn't leading to a deal at first. The idea was uh, that they worked the first NXT and then if the official like them, they would you know be brought back for, to the Performance Center and NXT for more work for the next few months in 2014. Well, that's kind of led to a, a deal if anything went accordingly, so there's still no word yet on uh, whether they're going to be coming back uh, the first part of the year or not, but uh, it is expected. Now, i got a little more information here in a while. There's also talk going around that TNA is getting ready to, uh, may be ready for a play for Edwards and Richards to join them. Uh, AJ Styles is now expected to be working for, uh, now working uh, uh, with uh, TNA after the two sides have uh, continued negotiations. Well, anyway, Styles' uh, agent, uh, Bill uh, Behrens, recently reached out to some indie promoters and said, hey, talks with TNA, we're moving along, so if uh, promoters want to book AJ, they need to, to get a deposit in soon, make sure the sucker shows up, or he'll be back down south. And he will honor his contracts if, uh, you know, uh, even if the TNA thing goes through. Jeff Jarrett, uh, he's been uh, very quiet on his TNA departure because he's uh, signed a non-disclosure agreement. And there's talk uh, several months ago that uh, Jarrett's doing some sort of a roller derby uh, project. Uh, but uh, besides a lot of speculation, there's no word yet on his future plans. Roller derby, people have tried that for years. I know when I was a kid, I think there was roller derby. Uh, uh, it, was, it was going quite well, but I think he got brought back maybe four or five years ago kind of just laid there. WWE is advertising the January 6th Raw, the first Raw show of 2014, may have an old school theme. And the show is being held in Baltimore, Maryland at the Baltimore uh, Arena. Dark main event being advertised as John Cena versus Randy Orton for the WWE World Heavyweight title with Booker T as special guest referee. And at this point, no other legends have been even mentioned. And happy birthday to JCP star Brad Agent Steele Anderson, Brad, Brad Anderson, uh, 44 years old, two-time uh, Ring of Honor champion, a former WWE developmental talent, uh, Chris Hero, 34. Today would have been the birthday of NWA junior heavyweight champion Iron Mike DiBiase. Would have been 90 years old. Now for the current news, I'll be done here in a few. There's not much news of it, you know, going on right now because a lot of people are over. They're either overseas or they're home, not on the road, getting into mischief. Uh, anyway, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, they got a story up on former uh, University of Minnesota lineman and one-time NFL prospect Mike Rollis uh, talking about his recent WWE tryout down at the Performance Center in Orlando, and Rollis uh, recently competed completed a second round of tryouts and is now waiting to hear back from WWE and CableFacts.com has a new article up on the WWE app and WWE's Vice President and Editorial Director of Digital Print 
digital and print, Rob Bernstein, said that WWE app is now part of the show that they no longer consider it a second screen experience. So, believe it or not, man, they got some people working there. They got about 10 people who are responsible for the app every Monday night. Writer, producer, camera guy, tang, uh, talent uh, wrangler, and full-time technician. After the show, uh, the network evaluates the fans' thoughts on you know the programming, analyzes social chatter, and then uh, every... Actually, it sounds like they're taking interest in what we like. I could be wrong. Uh, then every Tuesday morning, as uh, the full report goes out and explains exactly what the fans thought. And then uh, the content is taken and becoming a big part of WWE's writing process, according to Bernstein. Bernstein added that they want fans to be able to bend the story with polling uh, during the show also, such as, you know, fans voting for stipulations. They like us. They really like us, I guess. All right. Oh, back to uh, Jeff Jarrett's departure from TNA. It says that it does not come uh, as uh, a forced resignation either. People are very close to... That's very close to Jarrett said. They're being quiet about why he left, but the impression is uh, being given that uh, they aren't upset about it. And regarding TNA's reaction, none of the office workers, wrestlers uh, talking, say they saw it coming. Uh, internationally, um, or rather internally, TNA is downplaying Jeff uh, his departure, but uh, saying that it's not as bad as it seems, and that the TNA is bigger than one man. Kind of sounds like a little low blow. While he may not be appearing at WWE's uh, 2014 Royal Rumble, Jake the Snake Roberts will be busy that weekend. He's being booked for New Jersey Championship Wrestling Friday and Saturday night at uh, Manville in Brick, New Jersey. Former Diva, I think I remember mentioning this to you, it was a contest going on, but uh, former Diva uh, Lisa Marie Verant or Victoria uh, will be attending tonight's WWE Raw uh, event in Chicago. Party Bus will be uh, coming from her Squared Circle restaurant there in Chicago to take fans to the event. There's going to be a post party there afterwards as well. With NXT off until uh, New Year's, WWE developmental Brandy uh, Rhodes is traveling with Cody Rhodes this weekend. And um, let's see what else have I got. <clears throat> Hang on, about done. About dry on the throat, too. WWE's website has a poll asking who is the most significant and magnificent manager in history of WWE. I thought it would be a shoe in, but so far uh, there's about 64,000 votes cast, and some of the people it was up for the uh, voting on was uh, Heenan, Hart, Albano, uh, Dylan, Sh uh, well, Sensational Sherry, Blassie, Miss Elizabeth, Paul Bear, Fuji, and Heyman. And with those 64,000 votes, Believe it or not, that's kind of surprising, but Paul Bear is currently in the lead with 30%. Heyman is close with 20%. Heenan is next at 15 I thought for sure it would be uh, just a runaway with Heenan. I thought that'd be a silly thing to even ask voting on, but hey, I might be wrong. And at the end of this year, too. I can start next year, being right all year, all right. Anyway, uh, tonight's uh, episode of Impact is going to be featuring a special look at the World Heavyweight Champion Magnus and a special announcement from Dixie Carter and Joe Parks taking on uh, Kazarian and Daniels in a Monsters Ball match plus knockout uh, are in action too. All right, tonight's uh, ImpactWrestling.com second screen experience will feature uh, Madison Reigns. She's going to be doing the TNA uh, with the fans during the broadcast. Taking your eyes off of the screen and taking your eyes off of the commercials. I don't understand why they do that. Oh, anyway, Batista, once again, is being featured on uh, UNLVTickets.com website for a WWE live event February 16th from Vegas. He was pulled last weekend after the news got out about his return. They gave up. Oh, hell, everybody already knows about it. We can't surprise nobody anymore. So they went ahead and announced it. But anyway, he's going to be in Vegas. And despite WWE's main event not airing on ION uh, due to the Christmas holiday, WWE still taped the matches for their uh, international airings. And those matches, by the way, are now available on WWE's YouTube channel if you want to check them out and see some more wrestling. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.